Hey everybody, really quick question, really quick answer. What's the difference between DPI and PPI? So PPI is pixels per inch, and that means it lives in a computer world. It's going to say, how many pixels are you creating for your computer on every inch of real estate that you've got? DPI, on the other hand, is dots per inch. It means how many printed dots are going to appear on a paper on every inch. And the printer can run different size dots, real tiny ones, real big ones, and it can get really, really, really fine. So if you go, go and do 300 dots per inch, it's going to do itty bitty really tiny dots and print really high quality. Your computer can't really do that. You can have different computer monitors, different size, and you can change the resolution on your computer monitor. But when it gets down to a certain minimum pixel size, it can't go any smaller. So the thing you need to remember is what's your final output, right? If you're going to stay on a computer, there is absolutely no need for you to be sending it a 300 DPI, uh, PPI image, right? It doesn't matter. Your computer can't do it anyway. You're just making a, a big, huge file for no reason. On the other hand, if you're printing, you need to make sure to give it good quality. And after you hit around that 300 DPI mark, your eye can't really tell the difference anymore. So unless your, your print shop that you're sending to wants higher quality, you don't need to go higher quality, but they'll absolutely want you to make sure that you're doing you know, at least 300. Uh, if you're at 72, which is the common web standard, you're talking about the web universe, and that's when we're dealing with pixels, every pixel per inch. After you hit print, the computer is going to take all of those pixels, and it's going to translate that number, your PPI, into how many DPI, dots per inch, it can actually print realistically. So to sum up, DPI is dots per inch, and that's how many dots your printer can actually replicate. PPI is pixels per inch. But it, it's kind of a flexible concept because it depends on how big your monitor is. And again, to sum up, the important thing is to get the correct resolution for what you're going to output. If somebody's giving you a hard time about terminology, PPI or DPI, they, they sort of merge together at the end of the day. Technically, they're not the same thing, but I don't think we should get too hung up about terminology in, the, in this universe. But, you know, if somebody's going to be your manager, you should try to make an effort to use the correct term to let them know that you know what you're talking about. Uh, but other than that, other than that, I wouldn't worry too much about it. But I hope that you can understand the difference, even if you mess up. I say DPI all the time, even when I'm dealing with web banners. But I hope that helps. Please leave a comment so I know that I'm not sitting here talking to myself in an empty room. I would appreciate that. You guys have a really nice day. Bye now.